Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm driving out to the uh, off-grid property, not Shoot Dang Ranch. And uh, this is a uh, it's a weird feeling. It's it's a a feeling I didn't think I would have, I guess. And there's cops everywhere, freaking everywhere today. I don't know why, but um, it's definitely a weird feeling knowing that I'm driving out here right now to uh, pick up some of my stuff to kind of in this chapter I started in Oklahoma out here and I thought that that pretty much would have been the spot I stayed at for a good while and I mean two years is a long time it was weird that it literally happened where it was almost exactly on my two-year anniversary that I got Shoot Dang Ranch, uh, literally within days. So, you know, finishing the shed to house and stuff, and then, you know, getting the new land two years after moving up, everyone knows, in a tent. Uh, it was a very strange feeling, and I feel like that was 10 years ago. I feel like it was such a long time ago that it almost feels like it didn't happen. And that's a weird feeling in itself. Uh, I, I clearly remember the struggles and everything that came along with it. It's so bright this morning. Um, you know, starting in the tent, uh, running the, the generator uh, to just have my laptop going so I can edit videos and get them out. You know, not having internet, I'd have to drive into town every single day. I was doing daily vlogs still at that point. Uh, you know, I would wake up at 6 a.m., film a cop to Crockers, uh, drive into town, upload the video, drive back, uh, you know, drink my coffee, get started, build a fire, uh, start clearing land, do everything, work all day till it got dark, edit my video, uh, save it out, drive into town, upload it, drive home, and it'd be, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, go to sleep for a few hours if I could sleep in the tent, and then uh, wake up and do it again, and I did that every single day, and it's crazy, and then through all that, I went through so much drama, I guess, if you want to call it that, with you know, other channels and people and stuff like that, that mentally, it just destroyed me as a person, I guess. Uh, I went from a very happy-go-lucky lucky person to screw everybody uh, in, in, in a matter of like a year or something. And my whole life just completely flipped and I finally had enough and I got rid of everybody in my circle that was there I guess um, I just got rid of everything I cut all ties I did all that and I started fresh I started you know I bought the property with the shed on it and I worked on that over a few months and uh, met Danielle and Jared would come up and help and just doing all that and then uh, you know, now, you know, fast forward two years and got Shoot Dang Ranch now. Uh, it seems like when I moved to Oklahoma, it was 10 years ago. And it's strange. And, and I told myself that I wouldn't stay in Oklahoma. Um, I always kept Jared's address on all my stuff. That way I can have the Texas address so I could go back and it wouldn't be a big deal. Like the truck still registered in Texas. Uh, everything I had was temporary. Uh, you know, it was crazy that a lot of people that came into my life were temporary. Uh, you know, living in the tent was temporary. Building tiny house is going to be temporary. Doing the shed house is going to be temporary. I had nothing that was long-term goals other than the goal of having something that would last forever and uh, it's a strange thing being 
out at Shoot Dang Ranch now and, you know, being around Danielle almost, I wouldn't say 24 seven cause she's back to work, but for a while we were together like every day cause she had some time off and, uh, you know, Jared's been coming up and stuff and, uh, it is very strange to have all that to go from very temporary to permanent it still hasn't fully set in that shoot dang ranch is the forever place um clearly i know it's it's ours and that's what we're building for and stuff but like it still i guess because i still have the off-grid property that it just doesn't feel 100 percent real and driving out here to the off-grid property like my mind has just been running wild with just everything and I don't have my little uh, uh, adapter for my phone so I could play music in the car because my Bluetooth thing doesn't work for whatever reason so I kind of just been thinking I haven't been listening to like a podcast or anything which I normally do and uh, just been thinking and it's very strange finally like coming out here to gather my belongings because I'm, I'm gonna sell the off-grid property and I'm literally grabbing what's left of that whole chapter of my life and I'm 36 years old and you'd never think that a two-year span would change your life but it did and it changed a lot of who I am uh, who I became, uh, how I want to be, stuff like that, you know, it, it just blows my mind that two years can truly change somebody, and I think it's for the best, I think it, it definitely changed me for the better, there's still things that uh, I do want to change, or things that I want to work on, but uh, the fact that I literally have moved to a different state I really don't hang out or talk to anybody that I used to there's very few people um, the attitude I have towards YouTube is completely different it used to just be it's my career 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 and you know you're supposed to have all these people you're connected to on YouTube and you're supposed to do this and who cares if there's drama to deal with it that's what you're supposed to do to network and this is all stuff that was kind of like instilled in me from other youtubers and stuff like that and so I just like took their advice and I just found out over the you know years or whatever that I'm not the same as everybody my like when it comes to YouTube and stuff and I've always known like my brain isn't wired like everyone else and I've definitely learned over the years that I would rather have one person in my life that's solid than 50 people in my life that suck um, and literally suck the joy and the, the trust and all that stuff out of your life. So now I try to have fun with my videos. Um, clearly they're getting more views than they were for a while. Um, I've had a lot of people come back and say like, hey, I kind of dropped off your channel for a while. Like, I absolutely love seeing how you are. I love seeing, you know, the new attitude and I love that you're still building and all this stuff. And at first, like, it kind of triggers me to where it's like, well, why'd you leave? You know, why, why, you know, all this stuff. And then I think, no, that's such an awesome thing that someone that left because they were turned off by it gave me a chance and they saw the change in me and I think that's freaking awesome I think that's something that I'm very proud of and I'm very um, motivated motivates me to keep being a better person and to try to do things the right way and when I say the right way it's how I feel my morals my values and not everyone else's and you know just keep working hard and stuff and I hope that through my last two years, my journey, that it shows a lot of people that, one, I'm just a normal person and I got my ups and downs just like you, but two, that if you at home are watching and 
you are in your low, don't give up. Keep going. Keep working hard. Um, guys, you, you can't get more rock bottom than having nobody and living in a tent. Um, I brought that upon myself. Um, I didn't have to live in a tent. I did it. But when you have nothing, you learn what you really need and want in your life. And I think that's the best thing that ever happened to me. I am clearly not telling you guys to go live in a tent and get rid of everything you have and everyone. But when you literally have nothing, uh, you, you learn a lot. And I think, you know, there's probably a good handful of people out there that watch this stuff that are struggling. Um, I think everybody struggles. I think this, some people are very open about it and some people hide it. I think everybody struggles. Um, but again, some people hide it and some people put it out there. And I told myself a while back, I said, I'm just going to be 100% truthful with you guys and show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, when I first started YouTube, I thought you had to kind of portrayed as like a TV show. I thought you had to portray it as just this happy-go-lucky thing because that's what I saw. And everybody, you know, on YouTube that I had talked to at the time basically said that. They are like, you need to sell them the story that they want to see so you get the views and you make your money. You don't have to have a 9 to 5 normal job or whatever. And I did it for a while and then I was this miserable. And I have definitely learned that if you just keep it real and you, you know, really just put it out there that... You can connect with people, and I think that's the, the coolest thing with YouTube is the connection. Uh, you know, seeing the comments that say, like, I'm, I've been having a rough day, I watch your stuff, you literally make my day better. Uh, you know, hey, I feel like some of this advice that you're saying is speaking to me. Hey, I wanted to build a tiny house, you showed me how. Hey, I wanted to work on my property. I don't have all the tools I need, but you're showing me that you don't need it all. If, if you want it bad enough, you can do it. And man, like, what an awesome feeling uh, for me to read those comments because I don't feel like I had to put on an act or give you the story that you guys wanted to hear of the happy-go-lucky. It's, hey, life sucks sometimes, and, and life is tough, but... If you stick it out and you give it your all and you stay true to yourself, it'll work out in the end. And you can help people. And sometimes putting your struggle out there helps the next person. And then they can put their struggle out there and it helps the next person. You know, not everyone is willing to put their life out there like I have. But uh, you just never know who it would help. And I, I'm hoping that through a lot of this stuff, you learn... To not judge other people. Um, I've been there. I've done that. I've judged people. And it's not healthy. I, I've said stuff to people. And it's not healthy. And I've learned, like, that that's the dumbest thing you can do. And, and then I had people, you know, bash me. And, hey, I deserved a lot of it. And it taught me, like, okay, man, this sucks. This sucks when, you know, someone talks to you like this. Well, I did that to other people. And... It came back to me, and I learned, all right, I don't need to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I need to change. And uh, I don't know. It, it's just crazy that, uh, you know, 36 years old, and I'm still learning these lessons when you think you would learn them at a younger age. But I'm definitely learning that it doesn't matter how old you are. Uh, you could always try to better yourself. And I think the first thing is, don't be so judgmental. Um, you're not better than anyone else. You're just a normal person like everyone else. It doesn't matter if you have a dollar in your account or a million dollars. We're still just people. And Danielle and I have been watching um, Wife Swap. It, you know, most of you guys used to probably watch that all the time. And we started watching like these old episodes from like the early 2000s. And there's normally the drama of it um the, you know they're fighting they're like i'm not gonna follow your rules you know this and that and uh me and danielle will be talking and we're just like you know it, it sucks when one person follows the rules and then when it's time to switch the roles the other person's like nope not doing it like this is my house you're not going to tell me what to do but the other person switched roles and rules and they followed it and it sucks when one person does it and the other person doesn't and you know 
there was this one, and I'm not saying this is everybody, but this Christian lady was like came into this like rocker family, and she thought that they were like gothic and worshipped the devil, and she didn't like the way they looked and all this stuff. And then they had a barbecue, and all their friends were over, and they prayed before they ate. And she's like, wow, like, I truly thought y'all were, like, devil worshipers. And I found out we have a lot more in common than we thought. And she even said on there, she's like, I need to learn to not be so judgmental. And I need to, you know, open up and all this stuff. And that was, like, such a cool moment to see, um, you know, all that stuff. And then there was another episode where they swapped, and there was no drama. Both parties followed the rules, and then when they switched the rules... They followed the rules and everything worked out great and they both at the end changed for the better because they were willing to be open-minded and they they helped each other and they all benefit from it but there was no drama and Danielle was like that was a really good episode uh, you know boring but good like they all came out good but the but it was kind of boring like there was no drama to it and I said that's TV and that's the reality of it is people want to see that drama people like the drama and that's what gets the views but the good ones where people learn lessons don't really get the views and it made me think of YouTube clickbait is the worst thing ever created but it's it's something that gets the views and so a lot of people try to bring in the drama try to bring in the clickbait try to do all the stuff and you know yeah it'll get views but what are you getting from it? Nothing really other than you're entertained for a few minutes. And I've been there, done that. You know, clickbait, every YouTuber's done it. But uh, it, it just made me realize, like, I, I feel like I am doing the right thing by trying not to do the clickbait anymore, trying to be truthful with you guys, trying to, you know, put it out there of, hey, I got bad days. I have good days. Um, you know, like some some months we have a lot more money than other months. Uh, like right now, we're broke. Um, we we bought this land. We saved, but other months, you know, we were able to save up and live comfortable. And we're just like you guys. And I I love that fact. I love the fact that we can connect on that level and I think a lot of you guys see that and the fact that you know we do put it out there like hey we're having issues with this or whatever and you guys literally say like I truly feel like you were talking to me and it got me through this and that's freaking amazing um, it just blows my mind that I have the opportunity to put my life out there and it can touch other people's lives and it can make other people's lives better but in return it makes my life better. I think you guys help me more than I help y'all, and y'all probably don't even realize it, but uh, the support that you guys have given, you know, Danielle and I, and Jared and I, you know, now that Jared's up here more and stuff, um, it just shows that there's literally way more good in this world than bad, and I think that's something that I love, and I love the fact that the people who surround our YouTube channels are pretty much everyone out there that wants love and wants to just support and the comments are overwhelming uh, the messages are overwhelming of nothing but support and um, that that means more to us than you guys will ever know so please 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 keep doing that keep being our support system and in return we're hoping to keep being y'all support system and we can work together but all this stuff just like is going through my mind as I'm driving out here and I'm literally closing this chapter of my life. I'm coming out to get stuff to bring to Shoot Dang Ranch and to sell the property. Uh, this is a huge thing for me right now and I guess in a weird way I never thought about it but it's like it's good therapy. Um, I'm, I'm literally able to close an entire chapter of the bad in my life and focus on the good there was a lot of good that came out of this but the bad I can leave it there and I can and I can mentally turn it off and 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 walk away from it and that's such an amazing feeling and I have all of you guys to thank for that for sticking around through the good bad and the ugly and I guess I'm just hoping that this video 
gets to somebody and if you're having a rough time just know it gets better and we're all here for you guys so if you're having a rough time don't be scared to comment down below and you know you don't don't go into detail but you can just say hey I'm having a bad day you know this and that or I'm having a tough time right now and I guarantee you other people in the comments will read it and be like I'm going through the same thing and I want each other to have each other's backs I want all of us to help each other and I think that's the beauty of this and I think that's what I want to take out of this the most of YouTube is we're here for each other. This isn't a reality TV show. This isn't anything. It just happens that I'm a guy that was willing to put my life on the internet and you were people that were willing to watch it and comment and get involved and now we're all together. Who cares how it happened? We're all here together and let's help each other. Let's let's uh, you know keep it positive. Let's let's show the world that it's not that bad. It's 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 a really really good place and uh, there's a lot more love and support out there than is shown in the drama of everything. And let's let's put that out there instead of the drama and the clickbait and stuff. And uh, let's just show each other that this world's awesome. And uh, we got each other's backs. But hopefully you guys have a good day. Hopefully, um, it looks like the weather's going to be fine. Right now it's like 33 degrees. But sun's out. I'm good with that. I'm going to be getting my stuff. Uh, later today, hopefully, fingers crossed, if the internet works good enough, uh, the Shed to House finished, start to finish video will be out. I've been working on that, and a lot of you guys have been interested. So, hopefully, you guys will watch that and think it's cool, and uh, just know that it's a very strange thing for me to be closing this chapter of my life, but I'm very excited for what's to come, and I uh, have all you guys to thank for that. So, hopefully, you guys have an awesome day. Appreciate you, and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.